Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve this differential equation. Firstly, obtain the complementary function for the associated homogeneous equation, which is the left hand side. We can substitute M in replace with their derivatives. This is second order, so we refer to square first order power 1, 0 order power 0 with the corresponding coefficient 1 plus 4 plus 3 and we set equal to 0 which means that we have the quadratic function m squared plus 4m plus 3 is equal to 0. Let's factorize we should obtain m plus 1 times m plus 3 is equal to 0 which means that m is equal to minus 1 and minus 3. Since we obtain two real and distinct roots, which means that the complementary function should have a general form of yc is equal to c1 e to the power m1x plus c2 e to the power m2x, which means that we have yc is equal to c1 e to the power negative x plus c2 e to the power negative 3x. Next, let's obtain the particular integral for the associated non-homogeneous equation, which is the right-hand side. We can let yp is equal to, since this is function of trigonometric, so we use a cos x plus b sine x. We just have to follow a later angle here. Let's differentiate with respect to x, we should obtain a differentiate cos is negative sine plus b differentiate sine is positive cos. Let's differentiate again. So we have negative a differentiate sine is cos and differentiate cos is negative sine. And we just have to substitute whatever we obtain here into this differential equation. So we have second order which is minus a cos x minus b sine x plus 4 times of first order negative a sine x plus b cos x and we plus 3 times of zero order so we have a cos x plus b sine x and this is equal to the right hand side which is simply sine x. Next, let's simplify the left hand side group according to the trigonometric function refer to cos x first. We have minus a, 4, b and 3, a. So minus 1a plus 3a we have 2a plus 4b the whole thing times cos x and now refer to sine x so we have minus b 4 minus a and 3 b so which means that minus b plus b is equal to 2 b and we have minus 4 a plus 2 b the whole thing times sine x and this is equal to the right hand sign sine x compare accordingly since we have sine x so sine x compared with sine x this is with coefficient of 1 so which means that minus 4a plus 2b is equal to 1 how about for the term cos x since we don't have cos x on the right which means that we have 0 cos x since anything times 0 we obtain 0. In other words, 2a plus 4b is equal to 0. We have equation 1 and equation 2. We just have to solve accordingly. So we can rewrite the equation 2 first. So we have a is equal to minus 2b. Substitute this into the first equation. So which means that we have minus 4 times negative 2b plus 2b is equal to 1 which means that we have minus minus plus 4 times 2 is equal to 8 
8 plus 2 is equal to 10, which means that 10B is equal to 1, and hence B is equal to 1 over 10. With the value of B, we can substitute into this equation and we should have minus 2 times 1 over 10, which is equal to minus 1 over 5. Therefore, the particular integral for this non-homogeneous equation is equal to, we have A, so which is minus 1 over 5, cos x plus, we have B, 1 over 10, followed by sine x. And the general solution for this differential equation is y is equal to the complementary function plus the particular integral, which means that we have c1 e to the power negative x plus c2 e to the power negative 3x minus 1 over 5 cos x plus 1 over 10 sin x and hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.